UCF football player Justin Hodge arrested for home invasion. I have Orlando Sentinel UCF Knight beat writer Jason Beatty here. So, Jason, not exactly good news for the team at this point. Yeah, this was something that took place about 10 days ago. He wasn't arrested till this week on Thursday. Uh, and, and it's just disappointing news. I mean, anytime there's an arrest like this, uh, it's essentially a kid throwing away his future, his football future. Um, Friday morning, the team let us know that he was dismissed from the program. Uh, so he, he'll never play another down of football for UCF. But, you know, legally, he's going to have some problems. Um, essentially, what happened was him and a friend, uh, you know, had some back and forth. And um, he, he was asked to go with a couple other friends to an apartment in downtown Orlando uh, near Church Street and and basically try to beat up some someone who had a disagreement with a girl and 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 those four people went into the apartment and police say, you know, beat a victim up, robbed him, you know, went back and, and forth on him. And, and police found surveillance video of the four suspects uh, entering and leaving the apartment. You know, nowadays everything's on camera, right? So um, they, they had him pretty, you know, pr uh, they had a lot on him and, and he was arrested on Thursday. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's what we know right now. Yeah, and after his arrest, his account seemed to minimize his involvement in it, but from what they have and what they can tell, it doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and they charged him with the firearm charge as well. And apparently the gun wasn't his, it was his girlfriend's. But nonetheless, well, you know, from a legal standpoint, uh, that, that's a pretty serious charge, home invasion with a firearm and a mask. Um, you know, and, and like you said, he did try to minimize it when talking with police. Uh, but they obviously feel pretty strongly about the charges they have against him. Yeah, and unfortunate, as you mentioned, pretty much threw away his future. And he's not exactly like a practice squad kind of player. He was a legitimate player on the UCF Knights, spent a lot of time with the team this past season even. Yeah, absolutely. Justin Hodges, you know, he's a South Florida native. He's been on the team for three years now. The past two seasons, he was a starter. I mean, he started on defense for the Knights, played an important role at cornerback in the secondary uh, you know, he played 10 games last year. He, he played in all 14 games this year uh, and had a couple interceptions and, and was a good player. I mean, he was a legit guy on defense that, you know, if he continued to grind it out and, and, and work hard and practice, maybe he had some NFL potential as well. And that's what's unfortunate about the story is, you know, all that, everything on the football field is now gone for him pretty much, um, you know, regardless of what happens. I mean, his, his time at UCF, like I said, is done. So that's the unfortunate thing. And, and like you said, he was an important player at UCF for sure.